you need to be adding wide receiver KJ Osborne for week one. And you're like, Bradley, why KJ Osborne for week one? A couple of reasons. One is that it's Minnesota. And from a macro view, Minnesota is going to be one of the pass heaviest teams in the NFL. I project KJ Osborne, Jordan Addison, Justin Jefferson, and TJ Hawkinson to all eclipse 95 targets this year. And Osborne's on the list because Vikings are one of the past heaviest teams in the NFL. O'Connell keeps them that way. So Osborne in the week one matchups, it's Jordan Addison's first week. I doubt that he's going to get full complement of snaps. He may overtake Osborne right away, like week three, week four, week five, etc. But Osborne in week one, that's where he's probably going to get the best opportunity to spike for you. So if you want a waiver wire pickup, KJ Osborne is probably going to be week one play for us before Jordan Addison really clicks. And maybe Addison does click week one, but if there's ever a week where it makes sense to be playing a KJ Osborne, it's going to be week one. So pick him up. If this is a volume play, and, uh, and I like Osborne. We saw a couple of spike weeks last year from KJ Osborne. Pretty nice. This is a player who 448 speed, 71st percentile, former fifth round pick out of Miami. And last year, looking at some of the game logs, he had an 18 point game. He had a 14 point game. He had a 31 point game. He had an 18, 16, and 10 point games. So Osborne was able to do that while Adam Thielen was still running almost all of his routes. So I, I like KJ Osborne as week one play. He's going to be the wide receiver too until Jordan Addison takes the next step. And I assume Addison's going to take it pretty quickly. But Osborne, if, as I said, if there's a week, it's going to be week one for KJ Osborne. If you like the content, find this helpful, make sure you hit that red subscribe button on the YouTube channel.